So let's talk about SPECT's classification system. The syllabus objective says that you need to be able to interpret data to classify and name an ecosystem. And the notes section said that you need to classify ecosystems could be based on a series of different systems, including SPECT's classification system. So what is SPECT? Well, it's a system designed to classify vegetation in Australia. So Australian bushlands. It's over 50 years old now, and uh, it basically classifies bushland based on two things, the height of the trees and the foliage cover, the percentage foliage cover. Now, so a little bit more specifically, we select the life form being trees or shrubs, and some of them also have grass, grasses as well. So the life form is either trees or shrubs. And then we need the height of the tallest stratum. Now stratum means layer. And the other factor is the percentage foliage cover. And we've got four choices. So these two factors combine to identify a specific ecosystem. So let's have a look at an example. This example comes from the uh, QCAA practice data test. Um, okay, so you can see that what we're looking for is the height of the tallest stratum, or in other words, the um, eco ecologically dominant layer. So you might think this emergent layer is the uh, tallest stratum. So that, that can be a little bit confusing, but there's actually some clarification here. Uh, this is a, a, an official document from Queensland, and it says the ecologically dominant layer is the one that contributes the most above ground biomass. So in other words, it's the most abundant. So there might be trees that are actually taller than this dominant layer, so this, um, these emergent trees, but we don't consider them the dominant layer because they don't contribute the most biomass. Okay, so basically what's the most dominant layer? And we can see it's these ones here. So we're looking at a median height in this particular case, and it's around about 20, maybe 27 metres. So 27 metres puts us into this category here. The life form is trees, and the height is between 10 to 30 metres. Okay, so we can ignore this emergent layer because it's not the dominant layer. Okay, so next we need to work out the percentage foliage cover. But if we go back to the tool again, it says percentage foliage cover of the tallest plant layer, or really of the dominant layer, the ecologically dominant layer. And see how we've got the dark green, and these other ones are the light green ones. So we're not gonna count these. We're just gonna look at the ecologically dominant layer and work out the percentage cover. So we've got a transect line that's running through this ecosystem, and we're only looking at the foliage cover for the ecologically dominant layer, which is the dark green. So we're working, see we've got a 100 um, meter transect, and we're working out what percentage of this transect is covered by this dominant layer. So we've got some measurements here for this one and for this one, but we're not gonna count these light green because they're not part of the dominant layer. All right, so to work out the percentage, it's just gonna be working out 32.3 minus 7.5, and that gives us 24.8 meters. And then we're gonna add this one, 89.5 minus, and looking at this number here, 74.6, and it gives us 14.9 meters. So add those up, we get 39.7. So the canopy cover, percentage canopy cover, is 39.7. So the only trick here is that they've given us this other data for um, these other trees. And uh, if we were to add those up, clearly it's going to be more than 39.7. But interestingly, it's still going to be within this mid-dense area. Um, so if we were to do that on the exam, uh, you would lose one mark, but you wouldn't lose all of the marks. So um, now we have mid-dense, and we said trees 10 to 30 metres, so that makes it an open forest. Now this particular question in the data test was worth four marks. So let's see where you get your four marks from. The life form and height of the dominant layer 
is trees, 10 to 30 metres. That's one mark. The percentage cover is 39.7%. Normally they give you a little bit of wiggle room there uh, in terms of your calculation. But if you said that, that's another mark. And then from that, if you say the percentage foliage cover is uh, mid-dense canopy, mid-dense gives you another mark, and then the ecosystem is an open forest. If you say those four, if you say those four things, then you get the four marks. 